welcome to my youtube channel scientific underscore math today our topic is the intermediate value theorem and uh, we also discuss application of the intermediate value theorem and when can you apply the intermediate value and theorem and we also discuss some examples related to intermediate value theorem the intermediate value theorem the intermediate uh, value theorem is a useful theorem about the behavior of a function in a closed interval. Formally, it states that if f of x is continuous on the closed interval a, b and m is any point between f of a and f of b, then there exists at least one number c in interval closed interval such that the value of the function at c will be equal to m okay uh, so uh, here we have a f of x is a continuous function on the closed interval and m is any number or any point between f of a and f of b uh, then there exists at least one point or one number in a closed interval and uh, at that point the value of the function will be equal to m okay uh, so here we have a, a point f of a and uh, here we have a point f of b and m is in between f of a and f of b okay and there will be at least one number or one point c in our uh, closed interval at which the value of the function will be equal to m okay uh, so this theorem tells us uh, and that at least one c exists but does not provide a method for finding the value of and that c such a theorem is called an existence theorem uh, so uh, the intermediate value theorem implies that the graph of a continuous function cannot have a vertical jump okay uh, so uh, now we discuss the uh, application of intermediate value theorem uh, show that if we have a function f of x is equal to this one has it has at least one zero okay we have to show this function has at least one zero uh, at which the, uh, the function is equal to zero for example we uh, uh, find find we have to find uh, one c uh, at which uh, the value of the function will be equal to 0 ok uh, so uh, let's start the solution of this function since the function uh, f of x is continuous over the interval minus infinity to positive infinity ok uh, it's a, a conti it is continuous over any closed interval of the form a and b yes um, because we know that the function is continuous from positive negative infinity to positive infinity this mean uh, this function will be continuous on any closed interval okay uh, so uh, now we have to find the closed interval how to, how we will find the closed interval okay no uh, such that f of a and f of b have opposite signs okay uh, you can uh, use the intermediate value theorem to conclude there must be a a real number c in this interval that satisfy uh, the value of the function at which uh, will be equal to 0 note that okay uh, suppose uh, we take x is equal to uh, and 0 okay and uh, we see that uh, uh, we get uh, minus 1 and that is uh, less than 0 and if we take uh, x is equal to uh, pi by uh, 2 okay uh, we get uh, uh, pi by 2 and that is greater than zero so uh, using the uh, using the intermediate value theorem we can see that there must be a, a real number c in in this interval okay and that satisfy uh, the function will be equal to zero at this point therefore f of x and that is x minus cos of x as at least one zero so when can you apply the intermediate value theorem 
so we have a example if f of x is continuous over the interval okay and the value of the function at end point 0 will be greater than is greater than 0 and at 2 is greater than 0 can we use the intermediate value theorem to conclude that f of x has no zero in the interval okay explain so we have a solution no uh, because the intermediate value theorem only allow us to conclude that we can uh, find value between f of 0 and f of 2 okay it does not allow us to conclude that we can't find other values to say this more clearly consider the function that we have f of x is equal to x minus 1 whole square and it satisfies uh, at 0 uh, we get 1 and that is greater than 0 and uh, the value of the function at 2 that is equal to 1 which is also greater than 0 but uh, we can see that uh, uh, the value of the function at 1 which is equal to 0 so this is the uh, 0 this is the value of c on which the function is equal to 0 okay so it uh, doesn't mean if the function uh, is uh, uh, positive the value of the function is positive on the end point of the interval is positive we can't find the uh, 0 on which the uh, value of the function is uh, zero okay uh, so next example we have for example uh, we have a function f of x is equal to 1 by x and the value of the function at minus 1 is minus 1 and at 1 is the greater than 0 and uh, uh, function has the opposite sign at end point of the interval so uh, we have a question can we conclude that f of x has a zero in this interval because we see that uh, the function has opposite sign at the uh, end point of the interval no uh, so uh, our answer is no because the function is not continuous over the interval we can see that uh, the function is uh, not continuous because here we have also uh, point zero that is if we put over here one by zero that is infinity okay uh, undefined okay uh, so uh, the intermediate value theorem does not apply here uh, to apply intermediate value theorem uh, we uh, have uh, read early um, the function should be continuous on the closed interval then we can apply the intermediate value theorem uh, so this is all about uh, the intermediate value theorem and the application of uh, intermediate value theorem uh, so thank you so much for watching my video and please subscribe my channel scientific underscore net